The time is 6 p.m. Good evening. The news headline. Breaking news. Six dies as military plane crashes in Russia. The news in full. The Russian plane crash and all six crew died in the plane crash in Russia. Sequel to the news just reaching the media now. All six crew on the plane are on board of the plane of a Russian transport plane died when it crashed earlier outside the far eastern city of Khabarovsk. local officials on Thursday. The wreckage was discovered by a search team after it disappeared from radars on Wednesday evening. From the Antonov AN-26 transport aircraft scattered across broken tree branches. All members of the crew died and there is extension of our condolences to the family, the Kabarovsk branch of the Health Ministry said in a statement. Antonov planes were manufactured during the Soviet era and are still used throughout the former Soviet uh, Union for civil and military transport. They have been involved in a number of accidents in recent years. Investigators said that remnants of the plane were discovered on a ridge in the uh, Bolshevik Nature Reserve, some 20 kilometers, 12 miles south of Kabovsk. They said they were now looking into the cause of the plane crash, and the emergency uh, ministry said it has taken more than five hours to reach the remote crash site. Once notorious for plane accidents, Russia major airlines have shifted from aging Soviet aircraft to more modern planes. But poor aircraft maintenance and lack safety standards persist, and the country has recently seen deadly air accidents. And in July, an AN-26 flying over the far eastern Kamchatka Peninsula crashed, and the killing all 28 people on board a month later. A Mi-8 helicopter carrying 16 tourists and crew on a sightseeing trip in Kamchatka crashed into a lake, killing eight other people. In July, it was reported that the aircraft was flying a regional route in the far eastern peninsula of the same Kamchatka and they were not believed to be any survivors the Russian news agencies actually reported where a passenger with 28 people a passenger plane with 28 people aboard crashed in Kamchatka Russia on Tuesday an official said it was actually uh, the country told major commercial aviation disaster in the last three and a half years in Moscow a passenger plane with 28 people aboard crashed in far eastern Russia on a Tuesday in July. The authorities said that in the latest blow to the country sprawling by aging domestic aviation industry, the plane is Soviet made an 26 flying a regional route in the mountainous peninsula of Kamchatka, lost their audio, uh, their radio contacts with air traffic control about 10 minutes before its expected landing. And in the town of Palana, near the Sea of Ox, officials said. And a few hours later, airborne search crews found pieces of the plane uh, along the Kamchatka Aviation Enterprise Flight 251 appeared to be making a second attempt to land amidst the foggy conditions. When it hit a cliff, the crash is presumed to have occurred during a go-around approach uh, during landing in poor visibility. The Kamchatka uh, region's governor, uh, Vladimir Soludov, said in a statement, the incident was actually uh, Russia's third major commercial aviation calamity in the last three and a half years in 2018. An AN-148 regional jet plunged into a field just after takeoff from Moscow, killing all 71 people on board. And also, in 2018, a Russia-made Sukhoi SSJ-100 jet uh, made a fairy emergency landing on a Moscow runaway, killing 41 people. And it was at least the second failure involving a passenger plane flying to Palana from Kamchatka's main city. Petro Bavlok uh, Kamchatsky in 2012 and AN-28 approaching the remote town of about 3,000 people also crashed into a mountainside, killing 10. 
the Russian aviation sector has been modernized in recent years and the state airline Aeroflot operates close to 200 Boeing and Airbus jets. But in the far-flung regions where an aircraft is sometimes the only available mode of plane, airlines still often rely on rumbling, low-flying, severe era propeller planes. And on Kamchaka, a sparsely populated land of snow-capped peaks, geysers, and um, volcanoes across the northern Pacific Ocean from Alaska, the regional airline Kamchaka Aviation Enterprise serves seven towns and villages from its up. The airline's chief executive, Aleski uh, Krabrov, said that the plane that crashed had been maintained in full accordance with safety norms. The plane involved first entered service in 1982, the state-run uh, news agency TASS reported. And um, also, it was said that its past operators include Air Mali in Africa and United Nations. And it has been flying in Kamchatka since 2013, the news agency said. Within hours of Tuesday's crash, the regional government published the names of those on the plane, six crew members and 22 passengers, including two children. Officials indicated that poor weather was a likely cause of this. It was actually said that the plane approached landing in difficult weather conditions with poor visibility and crosswind. And um, emergency services official told the Interfax news agency that it was not successful the first time and the second time it actually hit a cliff without noticing it. And therefore, this was the news as happened in Russia quite a while where a severe plane, aircraft plane uh, in eastern peninsula of Kamchatka had actually... Uh, you know, killed six people in the military, uh, in, in, in the military uh, plane air crash in uh, Russia, and also relating it to a particular time that this, because uh, after, after a few years, uh, this is happening about after three and a half years again, and one just happened recently where a passenger plane with 28 people aboard crashed in Kamchatka, Russia, on um, a Tuesday, sometimes in July as well, saying that the Soviet made. AN-26, flying a regional route in the mountainous peninsula of Kamchatka, actually lost their audio, uh, their radio contact with the air traffic control about 10 minutes. And also, the Russian aviation sector have been saying that the uh, in 2012 and the also the same plane AN-28 approaching the remote town of about 3,000 people crashed in the mountainside and uh, killing 10. And there is need to actually uh, check out the reasons why these are happening, although there are some of these uh, reasons were actually accorded to the uh, weather condition that had actually uh, you know, influenced the crash of these planes. While we wish the, uh, we wish the families of the victims condolences, we pray that such uh, occurrences would uh, stop happening in the Russian uh, aviation sector, which was said to have been you know, modernized in recent years with the state's airline. And on Kamchaka, a sparsely populated land of snow-capped peaks, geysers, and volcanoes around the northern Pacific, we wish and we hope that uh, the plane crash around this area as well will be studied and so it can be reduced to the barest minimum. Thanks for listening. Good evening.